Hey, how y'all doing? This is Cooking with Dave. I'm Dave. I am the world's greatest chef. This says so right here on my apron. Anyway, today I'm cooking some all brown potatoes. I love me some all brown potatoes. Whatever kind of cheese you like to use, you go ahead and use it. I like to use the cheddar. Very good. Mm, nom, nom. Um, these potatoes I put straight into the oven and I cooked them in the oven for about an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes just till they're soft and they're juicy and they're tender. Um, but I have experimented with these and you can cook these on top of the stove if you want to and boil your potatoes on top of the stove for about you know, 20, 30 minutes till they get start getting tender and then put them into the oven. And I think they're a little better that way, but either way, they're very good. You can't go wrong, you know, make yourself a little sauce with some onion and some cheese, put it on some potatoes, throw it in the oven, bake it for a while, potato and cheese. How can you go wrong? All right, the potatoes. All right, let me bring you over here, show you how to put it together. Okay, we're making our all ground potatoes. First thing we have to do with making all ground potatoes is to cut up our potatoes potatoes. We want to make them about a quarter inch, maybe a little less, maybe a little bigger than an eighth inch thick. It's important that we try to make all these potatoes the same size because that way they will cook evenly. Y'all know what I'm saying. So cut up all your potatoes. I peeled, uh, I peeled about seven potatoes and I put them on some water be sure you always put your potatoes on some water after you peel them and cut them up so they don't turn brown and so that starch doesn't get out that potato as fast as you don't want it to. After we get all the potatoes all cut up, I just put them in some water so they don't turn brown and so you don't lose so much starch. You're still going to lose some starch out your potato but not as much if you didn't have them on some water. Now we're going to cut up our onion. We're going to put an onion in this. We need to cut up an onion. We're going to make onion rings out of this onion. So we just want to peel it, don't want to cut it all the way through. Just uh, you know, score the outside of the peel in there and then just peel off the outside and get rid of the peeling. And then we're going to cut this into onion rings. And the way we do that is just a nice thin, just straight down, nice thin onion rings. Just like that. You could chop the onion if you want to. You don't have to have onion rings. It just makes it prettier if you do. You can just chop the onion if you want to. But it's nice to have pretty onion rings. And I just take them and just kind of knock them all out like that. And then when we end up with a nice, lots of nice pretty onion rings for our all rotten potatoes. And there's our onion rings for all grab potatoes. All right, like I said, it's pretty easy to put this dish together. Once you have your potatoes and your onions cut up, just take yourself a casserole dish, like so. You want to butter the dish. I have a little melted butter. I'm just going to put it in the bottom of my dish here, just to have a little line. If you want, you can spray it with some Pam or some kind of cooking oil for baking. Y'all know the deal. Just want to have it grease so our potatoes don't stick. And then I'm just going to make me a layer of potatoes on the bottom. Like so. Then I'm going to do me a layer of onion rings on top of those potatoes. And then I'm going to do another layer of potatoes. And then I'm going to do another layer of onion rings. And then another layer of potatoes. Because we like the potatoes. Y'all know what to do. Who don't like potatoes? Potatoes, onions, and a cheese sauce. What more could you ask for? Potatoes all right. Do I have too many potatoes? Y'all think I have too many potatoes? Is it possible to have too many potatoes for my dish? I say, oh well. A little more onions left over. 
A little sprinkling them on top. We have the onion flavor throughout this thing. It's going to be good. All right, now I might be overflowing, but you know, I guess we'll get over it, right? Okay, now some cheese sauce. All right, it took me about four tablespoons of butter. I'm going to add me about a cup of milk. I'm going to turn that on, get that heated up. I'm going to hit it with a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. Then after it gets up back up the temperature a little bit, starts getting warm on me. I don't want to really boil this or anything with all that milk in there. I'm gonna take some cheese and throw me some cheese in that butter and that milk and melt that cheese in there. This is gonna be our cheese sauce. Just using some mild cheddar. You can use uh, some sharp cheddar, whatever you want to use, be fine. Uh, you can use Parmesan if you want to. I guess I like the cheddar. It has a nice flavor for this. Pretty much goes with the potatoes, goes with the potatoes well. Like I said, we don't want to boil this. We just want our cheese to melt. So as soon as it gets back to temperature, I just turn the temperature off, get everybody melted there, and then we will pour this onto our potatoes. We try to keep it in the dish, and then just pour this throughout the potatoes. like so. I used uh, about a cup of uh, cheddar cheese in the sauce and I'm taking about another cup of cheddar cheese and just put it right on top of my potatoes. Try to leave it in the dish if I can. Wipe off these outside edges because they will burn in the oven and then make it take me two hours to scrape off. Y'all know how that is. Alright. There we go. Alright. There's our potatoes all grouting. I'm going to put this in the oven. Uh, 400 degrees. Probably going to take about an hour, 15 minutes to get those potatoes soft. But whenever the potatoes are soft, it's pretty much done. The cheese is starting to turn brown and then I'll know what potatoes are pretty much going to be soft. I'll check them as the cheese turns brown and I'll know we're ready to rock. Alright and there is our potatoes all gratin out of the oven smelling wonderful looking good. A little onion, cheese sauce, cheddar seed cheese on top. Man look at that onion hiding. Oh, it's too hot. Mm -hmm. Gotta let it sit a little bit before I can cut it. Let me let it sit and I will cut it up and dish it up and show you all what it looks like. Okay, there we have our potatoes au gratin. Oh man, they're good. They're wonderful. They're soft. They are cheesy. Have that sauce going on for them. Oh man, can't beat them. With some collard greens and some pork ribs. Oh man, it's going to be good. Alright, those are all right potatoes. I hope y'all like them. Man, they're good. They are just wonderful with the cheese and the potatoes and the onion and the salt and pepper. Put whatever flavor you like. You want to put some peppers in there, put a little cayenne, maybe give it a little kick. Y'all know how to do it. Alright. Y'all have a great day. Thanks.